is underway. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmath Race Recap. Let's get right into the 27th race of the NASCAR Cup Series season, the first playoff race of the season that brought us to Darlington for a night race. Let's get right into this thing with some crazy action to start it off. The front row to start today's race was Joey Logano and Christopher Bell. With the two of them battling for the top spot early on the start of the race, we saw Joey Logano take advantage of Christopher Bell on that top line, eventually taking the race lead. Unfortunately, right when the race was getting good, we saw a quick caution come out for rain. You know how Mother Nature could be. As we stayed under caution for a few laps after the rain cell disappeared. With Joey Logano once again taking control of the race lead, as he led every single lap until the competition caution on lap 36. Everybody coming down pit road under this caution to put on four fresh Goodyear tires and make some much needed adjustments. As we know one thing for sure, Darlington can be a tire eater. Joey Logano not letting the starts and stops of the race getting in the way of him taking the race lead once again, holding off the rest of the field. However, we did see a new second place car in William Byron in the 24 car, as we saw great racing all over the racetrack. With Joey Logano not looking like he had a good long run car, starting to fall back into the clutches of the 24 car of William Byron, with William Byron taking the race lead on lap 66, as we approach the start of green flag pit stops starting on lap 74. With William Byron cycling back to the race lead after everybody made their pit stop, Kyle Busch, your new second place car, trying to run down William Byron for that race lead, with 19 laps to go in stage one. William Byron looked to have a sizable lead over Kyle Busch, looking like he was going to cruise his way to an easy stage victory. That is until we had a caution come out for the nine car of Chase Elliott spinning out, collecting the 14 car of Chase Briscoe, bringing out a caution with four laps to go in the stage. Stage 1 ending under caution, allowing William Byron to pick up the stage victory easily, bringing us to the start of Stage 2. Stage 2 kicking off with Kyle Busch jumping into the race lead, as we saw great two-wide racing behind him, with everybody trying to battle for track position early in the stage, as they knew this was the easiest way to make up positions on the racetrack. Danny Hamlin sneaking his way into second place, trying to run down his teammate Kyle Busch for that race lead on lap 32 of Stage 2. Right as the battle was heating up for the race lead, we saw the start of green flag pit stops in stage two, with Kyle Busch leading until he made his green flag pit stop on lap 153 of the race, with Kyle Busch cycling back to the race lead after everybody made the green flag pit stop. Continuing with the action, we saw the 38 car of Todd Gilliland spin out, bringing out a caution on lap 180, forcing everybody to come down pit road once again to put on some fresh tires and fill their cars full of fuel. And as I say, week after week, cautions breed cautions, and that is exactly what happened. The five car of Kyle Larson pushing his car too hard on the restart, spinning himself out, bringing out yet another caution on lap 193. With the green flag waving once again to restart this thing, we saw Kyle Busch retake the lead. However, his teammate Martin Truex was still hot on his heels for that race lead, powering his way right around Kyle Busch on lap 208 of the race, taking the race lead. It was a bit of a spin fest in stage two, this time the 51 car of Cody Ware spinning out, bringing out another caution, with 12 laps left to go in stage two, as we prepared ourselves for an eight lap shootout to decide the winner of the stage. With Kyle Busch fighting hard to get around his teammate Martin Truex for the race lead, holding him off to get the stage two victory. A chaotic stage one and two behind us, we geared ourselves up for a wild third and final stage to the finish. The final stage kicking off with Kyle Busch and Joey Logano leading the field of green. With the two of them wrestling for the lead early in the stage, Kyle Busch eventually taking the race lead with Joey Logano still hot on his bumper. Busch eventually extending his race lead as we hit the halfway point in stage three. With the first of two final green flag pit stops fast approaching with 100 laps to go. As we saw craziness on the racetrack as green flag pit stops were cycling through, the four car of Kevin Harvick catching on fire bringing out the caution with 93 laps to go, shaking up everybody's pit strategy. The 18 car of Kyle Busch just mastering the restarts as he took the lead once again from his teammate Martin Truex. Martin Truex still putting up one hell of a fight as he retook the lead with 74 laps left to go in the race, jumping right into the start of final green flag pit stops that started with 48 laps left to go. Unfortunately for Martin Truex, after he and Kyle Busch made the green flag pit stops, he cycled out to the race lead, but he lost his power steering, 
giving up the lead to his teammate Kyle Busch. And wouldn't you know it, shortly after this, we saw the 51 car of Cody Ware spin out for the second time in today's race. Someone's got to get him off the racetrack. But nevertheless, this brought out another caution with 27 laps to go. And the chaos just continued under the caution, as I don't know if it was a full moon, but we saw the 18 car of Kyle Busch, after being so dominant in today's race, blow up his engine under the caution laps, unfortunately ending his day for the race win. With Eric Jones in the 43 car taking the race lead as we were back underway with 20 laps to go, Danny Hamlin in second and Tyler Reddick in third trying their best to run him down for that race lead. As the battle for the win was tightening up between the top three, as the difference between the three was all less than a second. Eric Jones not being denied picking up his first race win of the season. The race coming down to the last lap, Danny Hamlin in second putting in one hell of an effort. But Eric Jones just could not be stopped picking up his first race win of the season. And win number 200 for Richard Petty Motorsports. What a win for Eric Jones, I must say. And what a way to start off the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Eric Jones is one hell of a race car driver and a nice guy. I couldn't imagine anybody else but him picking up this win. Much deserved. Let me know what you thought about the race. Always like, comment, and subscribe. And Matthew and I will see you Tuesday with a Monday Night Raw recap. Peace out. Come on and fight!